Good day, my esteemed viewers. Remember, information is power. What are those documents that are necessary for your DELSU screening? In this particular video, I'm going to list all the documents that are necessary for your DELSU screening. I'm going to explain them one after the other. I don't want you to make the mistake I made in my time. Some be like what I do say, some person are going to do your screening within a week, while others might do their screening for the whole semester. I don't want you to do your screening for the whole semester. Please watch this video and tell your friends who you feel like, uh, maybe your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, and all that. If you don't want them to do the screening for over a month, tell them to watch my video. So let's get started. The first document that is necessary for your DESU screening is the evidence of payment of acceptance fee. Evidence of payment of acceptance fee. Without the evidence of payment of acceptance fee, there is nothing you can do in DELSU. We can't even proceed to get uh, the second document. So please, I want to beg each and every one of us, go and pay your acceptance if you have not done that. And after that, go to any cafe in Delta State University, Abraka, anyone in Abraka here, just tell them that you want to print out the evidence of payment of acceptance fee. I believe that it should be around from 200 to 500. That's what they will tell you. Just to print out the copy of the evidence of uh, payment of acceptance fee, whereby it will show paid, acceptance fee paid. That's just the document they are looking for. So anyone that they are going to print for you, make sure that your acceptance fee is showing paid and your picture is also showing in that particular document. Because if, if it's not showing paid and your picture is not showing, Delta State University Abraka is not, is not going to accept it. So please take note of that. The second document that is needed for your screening, which is very, very important as well, even for your health, is good for your health as well. That is the medical card. You need the medical card for your screening. Now, how do you get your medical card? You have to pay a certain amount of money into Delsu Medical account. Then after payment, you proceed to Delsu Medical, I mean in campus too. We have a health center there. So you go there, you they are going to take your measurement, blood sample, and everything with the payment of acceptance fee. So you are going to campus two, which is a Delsu Health Center with the payment of acceptance fee. So when you get there, they are going to take your blood sample and everything, everything, everything. Then at the end of the process, they will give you a medical card. Then with that, first of all, you have got your payment of acceptance fee. Then the second document is your medical. So after the whole testing, treatment and everything, they are going to give you your medical card. Then you cannot proceed to for your screening. So acceptance fee, Second one is medical card. Then after the medical card, do you have any business in campus too? Again, you proceed to your schedule. So let's go to the third document. The third document that will be required, this is not actually a document, it's very, very important. I can even say this is the most important of all, which is the one on jam cap. Now, if you have not accepted your admission, if you have not accepted your admission on jam, Delsu is going to withdraw that. Jam is going to cancel it. That's just the truth. So if Delsu give you admission today, Delsu is giving you four weeks to go to jam and accept your admission and if you don't know how to accept your admission just check the video description i'm going to drop uh, the link there how to accept your admission so please i want to beg each and every one of us go and accept your admission because after four weeks of uh, being admitted into the university you have not accepted your admission delso is going to withdraw that your admission from you even if you get admission to medicine and surgery pharmacy law engineering whatever this is going to withdraw that admission even after payment of acceptance fee so please i want to beg you to avoid you losing your admission please go and accept your admission if you don't pay money to accept it's very very easy and in case if you are confused i've already explained how to accept your admission in a particular video you can check the video description the video is there the, the link is there rather you can also send me a dm i'm going to send you the link so that you can assess your jam portal whereby accepting your admission the third document that will be needed which is the third document that you'll be taking to for, for your screening is your original utme results i'm talking about the or not the notification of the result I, i'm talking about the original utme results please go and get that it is very very important for your screening and after that proceed to why go and get your work certificate if your work certificate is out but if your work or negative certificate is not out then go and get the statement of result and the testimonial the testimonial is very, very important for all testimonial is very, very important if you have the original certificate i mean your work certificate your negative certificate you don't need statement of results but if you don't have the certificate go and get the statement of results if your certificate is out and you didn't come with the certificate this is not going to screen you in but if your certificate is not out and it came with the statement of results they are going to accept you so please i want to beg each and every one of us 
go and get your statement of results or your certificate any of them is out then after then i'm not talking about the one you print out from waiko i'm not talking please i'm not talking about the one that waiko print out for you no go to your school tell them that you want a statement of results they are going to give you a statement of results and your school as well is going to present a testimonial to you so you need your original utm result you also need your waik testimonial and your statement of result or waik certificate if the certificate is available no need for the statement but if your certificate is out and you came with the statement of result they will not screen you in that is a fact so please go and get your statement of result or go and get your waik certificate and don't forget your original sorry your testimonial is also needed Testimonial can be gotten from the school you graduated from, which is your secondary school, and your work result can also be gotten from there. The next document I would love to mention in this particular video is your JAM admission letter. Your JAM admission letter is very, very important. Now, the JAM admission letter, they are in two formats. One of them is uh, uh, to the school, which is to the institution, while the other one is for personal use, like for me. Mm -hmm. So, my JAM admission letter, they are two. One of them is for Delta State University Abraka. Why the other one is for myself for me to keep so if you present the one that is meant for you to the school they will reject it so look at it very well the name the, is boldly written there the one that is for the institution you give it to their soon why the one that is for you you keep it to yourself so that's how it works now listen attentively you also need your birth certificate and your local government of origin where can you get these two documents from go to your local government secretary i believe that that's where you can obtain your best certificate and your local government of origin. If I am from Ugeli South, I am to go to Ugeli South, not that I will go to another place and get best certificate and local. It is going to affect you. So the, 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 the original one that is showing you your results, that is the one you are going to get. I mean, where you came from. And most of you already made mistake with uh, uh, doing your jam. Maybe you are from Ugeli South. I decided to put Ethiopia East. So it's going to affect you during your screening as well. I also made a video on that. So go and watch the video so that you can you will understand. I don't want to repeat everything in this particular video. So I've already made a video on that before. I uploaded it already. It's also in the video description box. So please go and watch that video. And apart from that, your best certificate, for example, if I was giving birth to in, let's say, in the year 2016, then the one I have in my jam differs from the one I have because your jam is going to show low government of origin, your local government area rather. And still go to show your best certificate. So if my best certificate doesn't tally with the one I have in jam, and if it doesn't tally, my local government of it doesn't tally with the one I have in jam, it is going to affect me as well. So please, I want to beg you, go and check your document now. If it doesn't tally, that means there is a problem. So go and solve that problem before school resume. Because if school resume and you also you didn't check very well, they are going to screen you out, or you are going to correct all those documents first before they can accept you. Remember. Don't screen for more than one week. That's the goal. Now, listen attentively. The last criteria for DESO screening is red background passport. I'm not talking about white background. I'm not talking about, uh, uh, what's it called, purple background. It's not for, please, this particular video is meant for DESO students only. I mean, the one level, which is the freshers. Not those, again, admission into diploma, into pre-degree, into JPEB. No, please. For Delsu regular students, you are not using white background, you are not using blue, but a red background. And you need about 40 plus uh, passport. You need to take like 40 plus because if you come with 12 passport, it will not be enough. Just the way they stated it there. 12 passport is not enough. That's just the truth. And all the documents I mentioned from number one down to this very one, apart from the passports, make a photocopy of them. Five photocopies. Like your original WIAC result should be five. Your original jam results should be five, five. Your testimonial should be five. Your birth certificate should be five. Your medical card should be five. So every, all the document I mentioned, make sure that you photocopy them five, 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 five. That's how it works. You are not to submit the original. They might even give you some of the original documents. They will give you the original document. You are able to buy a file uh, uh, after your medical. So you buy a file. So from the file, you put all your documents about five files or six. So, and every of your documents, you need five photocopy. Now, let me explain this again. You need, after your medicals, like what I said before, acceptance fee, after payments of acceptance fee, proceed to your medicals, 
after your medical, then go and buy the file. Then after buying those files, go to your faculty. They will give you the 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 forms, about three forms. So those forms, you are still going to make photocopy of those forms as well. Five uh, copies plus the original, which is six. Then all your documents, you make photocopy of them. Then you arrange all your documents into those files. Like the reason why you are making five, five photocopies, one of them will be in each of the files. And you are going to submit them to different offices. Admin office, your department, your faculty, guidance and counseling, uh, uh, all those offices. So you are going to submit to different offices. That's why you have to copy your document into five, 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 five. Or whether you pay anything you pay in this for the copy it into five places, all of them. Make sure you make five photocopies. Finally, <laughs> this is actually a warning to us all. If you know that you you have issue with your name, go and correct it. Don't say you have sworn a feed that you are going to submit to Desu. Desu is good to accept. You are a big liar. Desu doesn't accept a feed of it. Desu doesn't accept that. So for those of us who feel maybe I can use a feed it to do my screening, that means you are going to screen for a very long time. If you have issue with your name, I've created a video on that. If you have issue with, with your date of birth, there's a video on that. If you have issue with your local government of origin, there's a video of that. And please go to Jam and accept your admission. If you haven't accepted your admission, there's no way you can put admission later. So please go and accept your admission. Remember, if you don't accept your admission after four weeks of being admitted into Delsu, Delsu is going to withdraw your admission, whether into your <laughs> your your whatever course you are looking at or whatever course you are admitted into. Delsu is going to withdraw the admission. So please, if you find this video very helpful, why not like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me in all my social media accounts. Stay blessed. Hope to see you soon.